Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. How are you all? What's going on? We're shaking. So I'm getting ready for my reading, and I just wanted to show you all. You know, I always um, spray my table down with love and money sprays. These are Florida water sprays that I got from Tybee Island in Savannah, Georgia. Just to give us some great energy to get us going, to bless me, my readers, my viewers, and everything, you know, that I'm about to tell you all. So, I want to get off into my channeling energy, alright? So, my channeling energy, the words that um, I channeled and meditated upon is unheard. Turn this down a little bit. It's unheard. All right, is you guys feel unheard in a situation. You feel like someone is not listening to you. You feel like you can't get your feelings out. You feel like you just can't say what it is that you really want to say because you feel like you're walking on eggshells in a relationship or in a situation. And this is with the divine masculine or the divine feminine. The next message that came out is the divine want you all to know that you are divine beings and you do not have to accept people, situation, places, and things that is not of uh, the divine. Okay? The next word is eager. All right? So if you're eager to rush into situations, you're being asked to take your time. The next word is grateful. We need to be grateful for what we have instead of being ungrateful for what we don't have. Okay? So, I'm still dreaming about the HIV issue. Okay? Now, my dream, once again, I had with this HIV issue, the divine saying it could be HPV or HIV. Okay? The next thing is, I had a dream about someone getting into like an accident or a fight um, where they had to go to the hospital and there it was blood, you know, on their bodies. And this is how someone found out they have HIV. Just from their blood being tested at a hospital. Okay, this is how they found out they had HIV. This person went hysterical, okay, and you know, at a hospital, this has to be reported to the Department of Health. So this person really didn't want to do that. And I feel like the hospital kind of notified the police because this person didn't want to kind of give up information about this situation. And I just feel like this worked really far. And even as to viewing somebody going through their phone, um, strolling through their phone, getting people's numbers out of their phone, that had to be notified through the Department of Health that this person has HIV. <sighs> That's a dream that I had. It went that far as to me seeing someone strolling through their phone. The next dream I had was it's some divine masculines out here that have serious hate women issues, non-committal issues. They have no intentions on ever being committed, all right? This is some divine masculines who hate feminines, hate females. Um, they could have seen their mom cheating on their dad. They could have been in relationships where they got cheated on. And this person is now just out here sleeping with everybody they could have already contracted HIV and they're not telling anyone and they're just sleeping with everyone. That's a dream that I had. All right. And also, I see a name, Jason. If that mean anything. And it's a lot of uh, mom abandonment issues. And the color blue. All right, and I'm still seeing that blonde hair. Okay, so whew, that's some deep energy. Um, I don't mean to start off depressing you guys, but those are some dreams that I had that were very strong in my memory. 
and this is something else I feel like we're dealing with is anger. Okay. I do sell um, books on how to deal with these from June Hunt. Uh, they're very interesting and they're teaching you how to deal with all type of issues in your life. All right. And the next book I deal with, I bought is the dream book from A to Z. It's at Barnes and Noble in the discounted section and it's $9.98. And this is very interesting to help you um, understand what your dreams are and what they're about. Okay. Just a great book from Barnes and Noble. Okay. I just try to share every piece of information with you guys so you can start understanding. All right, so I want to go off into my reading, and um, that was some hell of an energy. So I want to ask for the overall energy with the Twin Flame Collective right now with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. What is the overall energy? And I'm using my Love and Tragedy Oracle. Okay, Love and Tragedy Oracle. All right. So just also be aware that black magic is going on very, very strong right now. OK, very strong. All right. My hand was hurting so bad the other day I couldn't even pull tarot cards. OK, it was hurting so bad I couldn't even pull my tarot cards. OK, it was almost like carpet All right. The overall energy with the Twin Flame Collective is risk. Someone wants to take a risk. OK, the divine masculine or the divine feminine, the divine feminine wants to take a risk for a whole new start, whether it's her alone. She's tired of dealing with that broken heart. The divine masculine don't want to lose his divine feminine. OK, risk. So we're going to start off there. What's the overall energy, Holy Spirit, with the twin? Point? What is the overall energy? With the ten, Twin Flame Collective. The overall energy is power and control. Okay. One second. I need to um, plug up before I lose energy. One second. Power and control is the next card. Thank you for your patience. All right. So like I said, the next card out is power and control. All right. So someone still want to have that power, guys. All right. Over this romance. OK. Someone will still want that power and control over this romance. Because they because you make them feel at home. All right. This is beautiful energy. But however, someone still want to control how things go. All right. So maybe that's why you'll still be unheard in a situation. OK, so what I'm going to do next is hit all of these again. All right. So with this risk, clarify this risk, Holy Spirit. What is this risk about? Somebody want to take a risk, but they keep self sabotaging, you know, keep being in mental conflict, keep being confused. Keep dealing with maybe their temptations, outweighing their options, still putting this in jeopardy. They want to do this. Yes, they want to have faith <laughs> and take this leap of faith. This is someone who is scared of rejection. They don't want to be rejected here. It's like they just coming in blindly, maybe. And just want to tell you how they feel, hoping that you understand. All right. But however, someone's still stuck in this power and control. Someone's still stuck in this power and control of this commitment. Someone wanted their fucking way. You know, if you previously dealt with a divine masculine or feminine who's a little controlling, then that's still with the energy that they're in. This is still the energy they're coming in with. Trying to control this commitment, how things go, when, why, how, where. All right. Knowing it's only in divine timing. And if they're still in that crooked energy, um, 
the divine is still going to hold them back. Okay, so the powerful signs here, they're getting all the synchronicities that this is what they want. They know it's time to make this decision. They're unhappy where they where they currently are. They're not, you know, living into their dreams. They know it's someone else out here for them, and they're ready to go ahead and take that leap of faith, make that commitment, and move forward to this. All right, but right now, they're just, they have a caged heart. They're still stuck in nine of swords energy, commitment issues. Also, those abandonment issues, rejection issues. And the caged heart is coming from something that was broken. It's like you might have to mend this person. They're broken. They don't know how to love. They wasn't shown love the proper way. And now they're broken. So that's why they feel like maybe this is also, you know, someone who's still kind of coming in there, coming from their ego, but they're really broken. They're still kind of wearing that mask. And that's why they're still trying to take control when really this person has no control. They're broken, but they're putting on that front because they want to come home to you. You are home to this person, okay? So they're trying to face their shit, their strengths and weaknesses, okay? This is a strength card. Someone is trying to have strength to come home to you. That is the overall energy for the Twin Flame Collective community at the moment, all right? So the next card I want to use is, can I please have the current energy for the divine feminine using love and tragedy because a lot of us feel like this has been a tragedy in our life so the next over our energy for the divine feminine i know we got some thoughts ladies <laughs> okay so the over our energy for the divine feminine hmm and i just had the book of anger but a lot of divine feminines you feel angry about this situation you feel like you want to cut them out. It's nothing else to be said or done. You are disgusted. You're angry. You don't want to deal with this situation anymore. You don't want to go back into any more cycles. You know, you don't want to just repeat this situation. You don't have any trust or faith in this person. This is a blockage, Divine Feminine. You feel like this person is just a fucking beast. You feel like your beauty and this person is a beast. He have treated you like a beast. Okay. He has no respect for your feelings, your worth, or you. And that's what you feel like he have treated you like. In and out energy, narcissists, addictions, bitches, hoes, all kind of stuff has really made you look at this person in a different light. And it's almost like a big loss of respect you're saying who the fuck is this person that i have let in my life who has caused this much damage unfortunately that i still love all right divine feminine all right here's one more card because you know this beast is torn apart you feel this energy of what he has been through. You have been feeling this. Okay, you feel like he's torn apart. He's coming back to you in fragments and pieces of brokenness. And also, this is the way that he made you feel. So right now, you guys are both mirroring this energy. So it's almost like you have to heal and help and love each other again to come back together. But the energy of Divine Feminine, if you do this, will, you know, you guys have something? Will you be able to start on this spiritual journey? You have a lot of doubt because of the previous past history with this person. All right. So the next thing I do, I want to go into the love and tragedy is you, Divine Feminine. You're the ones. Both of you all are in the need of strength and weaknesses. You're dealing with your strengths and your weaknesses. And you're afraid of your weakness of getting back 
stuck into a trap with this person who have hurt you in a way that you have never been hurt. You have strength, but you're also, you have a weakness for this person. All right, so I want to feel, I want to get the message about using this same deck, love and tragedy, about what's the current personal energy of the divine masculine. That was for the divine feminine. Divine masculine, what is your current message? What is your current energy, strictly, personally, for you? What is your current energy, divine masculine? Uh, divine masculine wants to come together. He love you. He wants to come together. He wants to repair this. You are the one that brings him out of the dark to the light. The current energy of our divine masculine. The current energy. He's trying to take his time because there needs to be healing here. He's going through transformation. He's going through a rebirth. He wants you to heal. He actually know how much he have hurt you now. He think that maybe you all should just be friends. He don't know how you might feel. He's afraid of rejection. He literally know what he have done to your heart. He's afraid that maybe you just see him as a friend. You want to keep him at a distance. You're not trusting him again with your heart. He know that you're guarded. He know that you're on top of your game, that you're not trusting a fucking word. He says if it don't sound or if it don't meet the behavior of his actions, that you're not falling for that shit again. He knows you had an awakening to his ass. He know that you've been watching tarot videos and finding out information about what the fuck he's been doing. He knows. He knows that you're guarded against his bullshit from now on. There's a card sticking out. But however, he wants a new beginning. He wants a new beginning with you, Divine Feminine. Okay? And also, once again, it could be a pregnancy. There could have been a birth or someone could be pregnant or this could be an overall new beginning. Okay, so my bottom card here, he feels your anger. Remember, this was your card, Divine Feminine. He feels that. All right, so the next overall energy that I'm going to go into is my Twin Flame Oracle. All right, and I want to get the messages of how you all are feeling about your the twin flame the twin flame relationship right now all right so the card that fell on the floor is woo divine timing there's a strong message here of divine timing everybody's getting impatient eager the overall energy has been fucking depressing Okay, secrets are coming out, shit are being untold to you. Okay, I feel like it's a lot of shit that's happening with the divine masculine that he is keeping a secret. He is going through so much shit in the background. The divine intervention has stepped in the divine masculine's life and it's like a big shake up. Okay, divine feminines, you guys live like you're supposed to, like a fucking human being. Okay, that's why you don't live with all this consistent drama in your life on a regular basis. It's like you feel bored because you live a normal mundane life. While the divine masculine got all this drama of hoes, court situations, baby mama dramas, you know, friends, alcohol, drugs, addictions, partying. They got all this bullshit going on while we live a normal mundane um, manifested life. That's why we don't even know what's happening with them. We think they just ignoring us. They got all this bullshit going on behind the scenes. 
And until that get fixed, we it'll be no unions. It's within divine time and shit has got to be cleaned up, healed. Situations have got to be closed out. So we might, you know, think they're ignoring. They just got a whole bunch of shit that they got to deal with that they're caught up in. Okay. So also there could be some travel going on. You guys could be going on a trip. Somebody could be trying to travel to you. And here's that Paris theme again. Okay. All right. So, th so those are some messages. Yeah, we all know that we're dealing with what? A twin flame journey here. Okay, a twin flame journey. So what I want to do is go into the higher self of the divine feminine. Okay. I want to go into the higher self of the divine feminine, Holy Spirit. What's the higher self of the divine feminine? You guys want to get laid. <laughs> it's a lot of sexual built up energy with the divine feminine. Okay, you just miss your divine masculine and there's a strong sexual energy. All right, strong sexual energy here. The next one is self-worth. Okay, you are working on your self-worth. You know what you are worth. You're working on your self-love. You're trying to improve your image, your energy. Okay. You're just really trying to focus on that. And you don't really want to deal with people who no longer don't value themselves as you do. That divine feminine energy, Holy Spirit. You're tired of shit blocking this connection. You feel like it's a big wall that's blocking this connection. And you're literally tired of this whole situation. You're tired of dealing with it. Divine feminine, you're tired of dealing with the situation. You're tired of dealing with it. Like I said, this third party. You're tired of dealing with this third party. You know your worth. You know you don't have to deal with this shit. You know you don't have to deal with this. You don't have to deal with somebody keep putting you in third parties. You want a victory, even if you have to run and get this victory alone. You are by yourself here, getting a victory, because you will not deal with a third party. You found your worth. You could have walked away from the situation. All right. But a lot of you divine feminists, you're still dealing with these inner child wounds here. All right. Or you're still dealing with your divine masculine who's stuck with inner child wounds that they have not healed from. OK. And you're just hoping for a miracle in your life. You don't even almost care about this journey anymore. You angry of maybe you're still kind of feeling some of the energy or telepathic energy from your divine masculine but you almost kind of walked away and you're hoping for a miracle you could be thinking about a separate path all right you do have free will you're tired of dealing with karmic partners some of you guys are hoping for a miracle that your divine masculine leave this karmic partner you got to focus on bigger things you are looking for a miracle in regards to this karmic partner disappearing out of the situation? Hmm. You all tired of this divine masculine and this divine and this karmic situation. You're all tired of it. You want to release this situation out of your life. You're so disgusted with your divine masculine for bringing in this third party situation or even putting you in this situation. You're tired of it. You fucking tired of it and you want to walk away. This shit is driving you nuts. This motherfucker is driving you nuts. This karmic bitch is driving you nuts. You're tired of all this black magic bullshit being put on you. You're tired of this, this whole situation in general. It's disgusting you. You obsessively thinking about this whole situation that's driving you fucking nuts. All right. See, you guys saying, fuck you two motherfuckers. Kiss my ass. That's what you're saying here. Fuck you. Divine masculine and karmic bitch. Fuck you. -da -da. Whew. The bottom card here is you're just hoping and dreaming for something better. 
You know that the divine has something better in store for you and you're not meant to tolerate this trifling, nasty, disgusting, threesome bullshit in your life any longer. <sighs> divine feminine, your overall energy. No, you know what? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Divine masculine coming from your higher self. Tell us what it is that you need to know. He dealing with childhood inner issues, childhood inner wounds. He can't grow right now. He's stuck. He in denial of a better life. Somebody's raking the shit out of him for his pockets. Somebody's very materialistic. He's very dependent upon someone. He's looking for a mommy almost. Somebody to take care of him. Divine masculine know that you have let go and walked away. He know this. It's almost like he daydreams about you. He miss you. He fantasizes about you. He's remembering what you guys had. And he regret that he lost you. He know he fucked this up. Fucking around with karmic bitches. He know he fucked this relationship up. A lot of you guys have left and said, fuck you. Sorry about your regrets. Basically, you could care two shits about his regrets. Yup. Wow. So, at this point, the divine masculine here is going within. This is what he wants you to know from his higher self. He's going within. He regrets how he, what he did, how he did things, how he treated you, how he manipulated you, how he fucked you over mentally, how he played games with you, broken promises, broken dates, continuous deception. He regretted. So he's trying to go within. He know that he had blocked his connection. He know he had put a wall up and you have put a wall up to block this connection. There, some of you guys, he can't even communicate with you telepathically or 5D anymore because you are angry and you said, fuck him. And you have literally blocked this person out. Some of you all don't even give a fuck about this offer, but he's trying to come to you and give it to you. But you don't block them from it. It's almost like you don't even want it because of the lack of trust and all the bullshit that he had put you through. You don't even want this offer no more. You don't even care about it. It's almost like you have blocked him from giving you an offer. You, you um, blocked him literally. <laughs> all right. So somebody's still going within. They could be spending a lot of time out in nature, you know, trying to get grounded through Mother Earth. Thinking, soul searching, not understanding that they could have lost the best thing that they ever had. Not understanding how their gluttony, their greed, their temptation, their addictions towards something that was very valuable to them. So now they just stuck with spying on you, seeing what you're doing, looking through every crack and crevice. Every internet, every media page, riding through your home, your job, wondering if you're in another relationship. Are you giving that beautiful love that you gave this person to another person? Just wondering from the scenes. Even the karmic could be spying on you guys. Because now that somebody has walked away, this is what they see. They see true love with you and they want this sacred reunion. That's why they spying on you to see what they're doing. They're still stuck in their balls and can't release their feelings. All right. They still stuck here and they ego a little bit. They scared they lost you. But also they could be giving you that personal space to heal because they know they hurt you. They could be giving you time to try to release some of this energy of fuck you. <laughs> 
Okay? So you could have gave your divine masculine a telepathic message that said, fuck you. Okay? And this is where that energy came from. You gave them a telepathic message that said, fuck you. Fuck this journey. I don't want shit. But still, they're going to come forward for the sacred union because they have found out that this is true love. They love you, divine feminine. They love you. Yeah, they know that you're mad about the current situation here. They want to surrender because they love you. Okay? They truly love you. All right? So, the next energy I want to go into is I still want to see what do they need to surrender to. All right? So, you all need to surrender to the wisdom of your body. Some of you all are not using your intuition, you're not getting any rest, and you obsessively are thinking about the situation, okay? You cannot do that, okay? That's like unhealthy, that's creating a blockage. That's unhealthy, and it's just creating a blockage in your life. You cannot do that. Look at this, all right? So somebody still needs to surrender to addictions, the more divine masculine energy. He's still got a lot of addictions here. He needs to surrender to this shit. He can't. This is like why he can't connect with you. Because he's not ready to surrender to these addictions. All right. That's taking up a lot of his, um, you know, time and space and, you know, mindset. And, you know, as you see, they're still wearing a mask about it, lying to themselves about it. All right. So you guys need to surrender to being creative. You know, think of new plans. Do things that you used to do that make you happy. Stop being obsessed with this journey. Find your creative side again. Find out who you are, what it is that you want to do. You know, go back out there and surrender to that. All right? Somebody needs to surrender to passion. That, that goes along with some of this addiction. All right? This is also surrendering to passion in life. Enjoying your life again. All right. But somebody needs to surrender to too much passion. All right. And not action. Somebody needs to get up off their ass and speak. Say what it is that you want to damn say. Stop bullshitting around the bush for this time clock tick away on your ass. And you miss something very special that you could have had that's divinely guided. Okay. And here's that miracle card again. It's like divine is asking you all to believe. Surrender to miracles. Have faith. It's a lot of believing and having faith here that needs to be done. Here's joy. All right? Surrender to that joy of life in this journey. Okay? All right? So what I want to do next is give you a divine um, message from your divine masculine. What it is that he wants to tell the Divine Feminine. This is like my little love letter energy, okay? Your Divine Masculine is remembering the good times that you all had. This is a lot of positive energy here. I'm not feeling a lot of negative energy. Only from the Divine Feminine with that fuck you and being angry, okay? So, this is. He remembers the good times. You guys could have went out dancing, you could have had went to like a wedding reception or wedding or somewhere where there was you guys dressed up and just danced and smiled at each other and loved each other. OK, probably went home and had a great night. OK, all right. Your divine masculine. He really want to grow old with you. He see you as the person that he could grow old with. You make him very happy. He really love you. You're a beautiful person. You could have short hair or short little brunette color. All right. Your divine masculine wants to have this heart to heart conversation with you. And he desperately wants you to listen. He has a lot of things that he'd like to get off his chest and talk to you about. He wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you. He wants to take you out on a date. He wants to tell you how much he loves you. It's so much love as I shuffle these cards. It's just so much love I feel, like an emotional love here. 
and how he felt for you, divine feminine. Like he wished he never gave up on you. Whew. All right. That was a strong amount of love I felt there. What he's asking you is, and you could be a blonde head. Have you met someone new? He just want to know, have you met someone new? Are you involved in a new relationship? Have you left the twin flame journey of your free will? And are you involved with someone new? All right. So the next thing is he wants to go on a vacation with you. He wants to forget the past and he wants to move forward in the future with you. He could possibly want to take you out to the beach. He just want to hold your hand like you used to and remember the good times like you used to. All the fun, the beauty when you were in love. Okay? <laughs> he wants you to know that he's spying on you. He's watching you. Your every fucking move. He is by your house. He is trying to contact you by phone if you got him blocked. He is coming by your job to see if you still work there. He is checking out your media pages. He's watching your every fucking move. He said, I'm very fucking jealous. So, all right. Look at this. He says, I'm ready for an honest commitment with you, Divine Feminine. Please trust me. He's ready. He want to commit to you, Divine Feminine. He love you. He want to hold you in his arms. He want to kiss your face. He wants you to know that he love you. But right now, he's saying that he's stuck in a toxic, abusive relationship. But he's leaving that situation. He can no longer handle this situation. He had to leave. It's toxic and it's abusive. The karma could be abusing the divine masculine. So if you see your divine masculine with wounds, scratches or something, he probably just got into a fight with a karmic. All right. So your divine masculine is saying that he's addicted to sex. He have a sexual addiction. He can't help himself. It's one of his secrets. He's very promiscuous. He's stuck in situations where it's just offered to him. And he have a hard time turning it down. This is something that you need to know when your divine masculine come back towards you. That your divine masculine is dealing with a sexual addiction. In addition to other addictions. Okay. I don't want to leave my family. He don't want to have to pay child support. That's the only reason he probably stand in the situation. The divine masculine had, could have some young kids. That he have to pay child support for if he leave. And he's afraid of that situation. So he stays stuck in a toxic, abusive relationship. Which is bullshit and weak-minded, divine masculine. To stay with someone who possibly beat on you or fight you every time you try to walk out the door. Because they don't trust you. And put black magic on you. Hold you down. You're not going nowhere with them. You're just stuck in toxic energy because you're weak. But yet, you stuck an ego with the divine feminine. Bullshit. Be a real person. Be a real man. Step up to the plate. Stop being a weak asshole, okay? Stop putting yourself in situations that somebody's supposed to feel sorry for you. Stop playing the victim. Think with your head, your mind, your body, your soul, not with your dick. Or your, you know, wang wang females. <laughs> All right. These are divine masculines who didn't have that role model, that dad. There could have been dads who uh, wasn't there for their sons in situations. Okay. So, you know, and due to this, they seen other figures. And these figures probably taught them how to treat women, which was bullshit. All right. And we know that they're just caught up right now. They're dealing with possibly more than just one addiction. They're dealing with gambling, maybe a uh, dark soul energy, lust, serious, you know, money issues, all kind of issues that they caught up in right now that they're unable to, you know, connect with you.
unable to do this sacred union, union with you. Okay? But they want you to know, Divine Feminine, they really miss you. They miss all the passion. They miss all the love that you give them. They miss everything about you and that they truly, truly love you from the bottom of their heart. Okay? So that's the current energy that um, I'm feeling from the Divine Masculine. Okay? From how he truly feels. And the disconnect here is the fact that they have so much um, bullshit going on. Alright? The bottom card of the Shadows deck is the Divine Masculine feel hunted. He feel hunted about the way he treated you. He feel hunted that he lost you. He feel hunted that he let you go and you walked away. He just feel hunted about the whole situation. He can't believe that he lost such a beautiful, beautiful being. And a divine being at that. And that was one of the words that was um, in my meditation. So what's going on? This is so much pain. I feel this is on both ends. You guys are mirroring each other and you're missing each other. You're hurt. He's watching you. Every card that you get, he's watching you. He's hurt. You're hurt. It's a lot of hurtful energy here. It's a lot of pain going on. It's still things that's in the dark that he has not revealed. It's a lot of things that's in the dark that has not came out. That could even be more hurtful to you, Divine Feminine. All of these energies came out. I have to read all of them. All right. So the Divine Masculine, no, he have made so many excuses. We had this card previously. Okay. We had this card previously. That he know he have made so many excuses. And, you know, where he tried to connect with you, continue to give you false starts. Always trying to connect with you and made you feel like something was going on. Like there was a chance. Okay. And all it turned out to be was excuses. He could have had, you know, told you about dates that you guys were going to connect, that he was going to do this and do that. And all of that failed. So all he did was made a bunch of excuses. But, you know, excuses in my world are fucking lies. So all he did was lie to you on a consistent basis. All right. So the next card out right here is repelled. You are basically repelled about how someone you love could have treated you, could have acted. All right. He could probably be repelled also. And that's why he's hunted about the way that he treated you. He repelled about how he act, how he treated, all the lies he told you, all the excuses he made up. You're, you're just appalled about how someone that you love, that you thought you knew, could do this. And that's where the pain is coming in. This is dark, hurting energy. And once again, that stalking energy, just invading your privacy, want to know what's going on. This person has not let you go. They're real strong into stalking and looking in, into you. They're not letting you go. It's like they're giving you that space to heal. They are coming back. They want their divine feminine. Who puts this much energy into stalking you if they don't have any intent? Now, hopefully their intent is a positive intent. If it's not, hopefully, Divine Feminine, you have learned your lessons. Okay? So, who's stalking? It could be the scorn karmic. That's who could also be stalking you. It could be a bitch out here that's fucking mad. I keep getting the same energy. This is a karmic bitch that Divine Masculine has either left or might leave or has pissed off, have used, have played, manipulated, ran games on. But this person is pissed and disgusted. This person could almost want to kill somebody. She have a fucking shotgun on her back. She is pissed. Some shit went down at night. Somebody is scorned. So it's almost the energy of he leave. Somebody is pissed off. So like I'm saying for the third or fourth video, please be careful. It's some negative energy behind your back. This is a scorned bitch who's mad. She mad because shit has burned down around her. Okay? 
shit has crashed and burned. Maybe this relationship has crashed and burned. Maybe somebody feel played. The energy I keep hearing. And now she could be stalking to see where this divine masculine is going. Somebody's getting drunk here. Somebody's medicating themselves to alleviate themselves of situations, of life, of thinking, of losing you. Somebody's just drinking their ass off and it's serious. Drinking here. Where they passing out. And maybe this is where some of this sexual seduction is coming in at. When they get drunk, they right off here with the next bitch. Laying around, getting drunk. You know? Damn, the same fucking energy. Something is going down with this situation. And it's to be careful because someone could be drunk when they connect with you. Alright? Someone could piss somebody off get into a fight while they drunk. And try to connect with you at night while they're drunk. And some shit could go down. Or somebody is going to get fucked up while they're drunk. That's what I'm seeing. Two. Okay? So you, it's like stay out of a situation if somebody try to connect with you when they're drunk. Because it's almost like somebody following this motherfucker. Yeah. This is the karmic. This is the black magic that they're putting on this person possibly to stay drunk. I feel like somebody's plotting here. Somebody's trying to set somebody up here. Somebody's keeping somebody drunk and might and might set them up in a situation. This is really scary. Somebody's drunk and somebody could drug somebody out here. Somebody could get somebody drunk and take them out. And they could get set up. They can get fucked up. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody is going to get somebody intoxicated and get them fucked up. They could be plotting against whoever they're getting drunk. This could be a karmic, this scorned bitch. She's plotting. She's doing that black magic I told you guys. It's very strong now. She's mad. So you guys really have to watch out. This is some toxic, toxic energy. Alright? So it's so fucking toxic. I just really got to clarify on this and see what's going on with this, okay? <sighs> Let me use the Kipper deck here. This is how toxic this shit is. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please clarify with the Kipper deck on this power card. What's going on with this power card, Holy Spirit? All right, just like I said, okay? The, when I clarify... The, the black magic, the power card, somebody's mad because what? The divine masculine left their ass. This is your divine masculine, the official person, 1111. All right? Because he left them. He took off. He packed his shit and left. He closed out a fucking cycle. He ended some shit here. So now, somebody have put a curse, a black magic spell on your divine masculine. Okay? The next one I want to clarify is this scorned person here. Who is this scorned person, Holy Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Using my Kipper deck, Holy Spirit. Please clarify this scorned person. Who is this scorned person? Woo, they so scorned the car fell on the damn floor. Somebody mad they didn't get some fucking money. Somebody pissed that they didn't get some money from your divine masculine or divine feminine. They scorned, they pissed, they coming out for the kill. This is all in regards to money. Okay, look, it's a mature woman. It could be an older woman here that somebody's involved with from their past that they've been fucking around with. They owe some money to. It could be a large amount of money. Somebody could have won some money and now they owe somebody some money and somebody found out this and they want their fucking money. They want their fucking money. Somebody got into some um, a situation regarding money and they have used somebody for money. They took somebody for granted in regards to money. Your divine masculine. And they want their money back. They could have got a fortune, an inheritance. And the divine masculine could have used up their fucking money. And left their ass. Alright? They pissed off. They want some damn money. Okay? So, to clarify, what is all this pain? What's going on with all this pain? Somebody working hard as hell. 
they struggling and they still can't make the ends meet somebody's in pain that they put the, all the work into the wrong person all the work into the wrong energy and now they're struggling with their decisions they could have put the work into you and it would have been abundant and that's what they did they put the work into the wrong person and now they're in pain because they realize who they really love now all right so i want to clarify this medicating who is this that's medicating some shit it's a mature male all right it could be an older person it could be a dad figure here all right it's somebody with gray hair salt and pepper hair somebody who dress nice smell good who like to travel somebody who read a lot of books somebody who's in mental conflict somebody who's um, seeing the light in the situation mmm but also it could be somebody who's a thief okay this could be somebody who's a thief they could you know just be like stealing your love your heart you know and also they could be a thief in general stealing other things all right so hit me one more time they could damn be a thief for to support themselves all right they could have had you know took some money from somebody here okay to support themselves they could have made a choice to be with somebody due to their stability because they didn't have any money this person could have bought some nice clothes colognes and stuff and took them out and all this kind of stuff somebody could have had you know treated them with gifts you know and spent a lot of money on them and now there's a scorned bitch because she feel used and played all right so that's some energy the next one I want to clarify is the warning with the Kipper deck here's a card sticking out warning so it's like this person is thinking about you your person from the past who wants a new beginning who wants a commitment with you but warning here because they got some drama coming they're dealing with some drama and basically this warning is you keep your ass away from a divine feminine because this warning means that this bitch is angry and some shit might go down all right and the sad thing about it is it might go down when this person is drunk so just be careful okay because somebody's plotting and somebody's trying to set somebody up i feel like somebody went out here and used a bitch played a bitch and it was your divine masculine because he was unstable and now somebody's coming after him and they like stalking to see where he's going so please be careful that you don't get caught up in this situation that you had nothing to fucking do with okay and the next thing I want to do is clarify invading mm. so you might get a message here alright about a situation about somebody been stalking you or somebody got something to tell you or somebody might come and tell you yeah that somebody's stalking you or somebody's you know yeah you're gonna get a message from your main male this is your divine masculine you're gonna get a message from him about you know what is the message hmm. about a wealthy man maybe you're gonna get a message that somebody left him something a wealthy man left him something hmm two men hmm about a home you could get a message from somebody who's trying to invite you over to their home probably for the divine masculine you could get an invitation from one of his friends maybe to come over and then the divine masculine would be there or you might get a message from one of his friends that his ass is broken in trouble and they're trying to connect with you and trying to contact you. Your divine masculine could be homeless. He could be broke. He could be jobless. You might get a message from one of his friends. Somebody who got something going on about your divine masculine. This person could have been trying to help your divine masculine in a situation. This could be his boy, his homeboy, his friend. You might hear something from them. Okay? So that's some energy I got. And what I want to do is just give you guys some heartfelt messages 
from your Divine Masculine using the Love Oracle, okay? So that was very interesting. The, is friendship. He feel like if you guys can't be anything else, can you at least be friends? He could be going through a lot of shit right now, but he don't want to lose your friendship. He hoping to at least have your friendship that maybe it can grow into love again. Okay? He's just hoping that maybe it can grow into love again, at least if you still be a friend to him. All right? Because he really wants a sacred union. So he'll have you as a friend to lose you all together. But the whole intent is to have this sacred union with you. He love you, Divine Feminine. Even though he could be shady in some shady spots or situations, you know. And this is also a Divine Message saying, don't make decisions feeling on sorriness for the Divine Masculine, feeling guilt for him or how you might have left him, how you currently feel, fuck you. Don't make decisions because you feel sorry for the Divine Masculine. You know, it's like he have to learn how to work these situations out. You have learned your lessons from these situations. He have got to do the same as well. This is a learning lesson. He continue to put himself in cycles of negativity. He have got to learn from his own mistakes. Okay? The next one is, he secretly admire you. He love you. He secretly admire you from afar. While he's stalking you, he's admiring you. You still doing your thing. You still being a beautiful person. You still being divine. You still working and taking care of yourself. That's why whatever he got is going on in his life is not affecting you. You're living your life. You're not caught up in this unstable, codependent, you know, scarce, dark soul of the night energy caught up with full of addictions. You're living a normal life. What he living is, is unreal, unauthentic. Is no morals, no value, no self worth. You don't live that. He is seeing you from afar of how it is meant to truly live the life. Okay? So, the bottom card here, like the divine said, wait, take your time, relax, get more information. Find out what it is that you really need to know. Reevaluate. Go on his behaviors, not on his words. As you see, they haven't gotten you nowhere. So just focus. Heal yourself. Okay? And then I just want to give you a healing message here before I head out. Okay, here it is. The bottom card is love. That you guys love each other. Even though you're stuck in this fuck you mentality, divine feminine, you love this person. You guys constantly think about each other. It's like an obsessive thinking about each other. Okay? So that's the bottom card. An obsessive thinking about each other. Okay? I have a new deck coming in. More energy. More deep energy. Let me find out what's going on. Okay? So, the thing that needs to be healed here is somebody stuck in their pride, all right? This is you, Divine Feminine. The beauty within, this is the Divine Masculine, torn, all right? So, once the Divine Masculine see his worth, his value, his self-love, and the beauty within himself to grow from all of these addictions and habits and karmics, he's going to be able to love the right way. Once he put his ego and his pride aside, he's going to be able to love the right way. All right. So you guys need to support each other, mirror each other in a positive way in order to bring this union forward. All right. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, please email me at queenofwands50 gmail.com. I'm Pat. I love doing readings for you guys. I try to have everything done within 48 hours. If you like a personal video, I do charge $10 more. So just read the description box and see what it is that you like. And I do take PayPal, Cash App. So thank you all. Have a beautiful day.